Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks. And um, I got another jersey today. Today I got an A's game used spring training jersey, uh, which means it could have also been batting practice, kind of, you know, spring training jerseys are usually the same as your batting practice, usually, especially in this those time periods. Now it's a little bit different, but at least in these times. So this is a game used. Um, the years they wore this batting practice jersey was 03, 2003 to 2006. They actually kept wearing the style after 2006, but it didn't have the patch that this one has on the side. This style with the patch on the side that I'll show you was from 2003 to 2006. Now, in that time period, there were three players who wore this number, which is number 18 for the A's. Um, number one, you had Graham Kuntz uh, in 03 and 04. You had Mark Redman, who was a pitcher. And then in 2005, 2005 and 2006, you had Jason Kendall, who... Um, I feel there's a good chance it might have been his. Unfortunately, I can't really confirm that. But um, just by the size of the jersey compared to those other two guys, Graham Koontz was 6'4", 220. Mark Redman was 6'5", 220. Whereas J.C. Kendall was 6'1", 181. Um, so this jersey is more for that fit, I would think. But also in spring training, you never know this, you know, kind of. Could have been some other guy who didn't even make the team, was wearing 18 for a minute. You don't know. But I've seen pictures on Getty Images of Kendall in the same style jersey wearing number 18. So, um, anyways, let's just get to it. And it is this right here. And so, like I said, this style in spring training with the elephant patch on the side was worn from 2003 to 2006. Got the number 18. After 2006, um, they still kind of wore this. They still wore this style, but it didn't have the patch anymore. So that's why I would call it a 2003 to 2006 spring training batting practice jersey. Um, since I'm hoping it's Kendall, and I'm just going to consider it a Jason Kendall jersey in my eyes, um, fifth all-time on hits as a catcher uh, with 2,195. Yadier Molina is getting pretty close. It is his last season, so he might pass Kendall. If not, but as of now, Kendall is fifth on the list. By the end of the season, might be down to sixth. Either way, one of only, I think, 11, if I'm not mistaken, catchers to have 2,000-plus hits. Kendall played with the A's from 2005 to 2000, part of 2007. So 05, 06, and part of 2007. And, yeah, so pretty much uh, got this super great deal, less than 100 bucks with shipping, tax, and everything. But, anyways, I'm going to stop talking, and let's just get into the jersey. So first thing we're going to start with the wash tag on the inside. It does have the A0065, which at this period of time, um, with these style batting practice spring training jerseys, that uh, number there, A0, A0065, are the, the numbers on the wash tags that would have been issued to the, the jerseys that would have been issued to the teams, opposed to the retails. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the retail authentics in these style were eight a 0055 a 0055 opposed to a 0065 so that was a telling sign that this was you know indeed at least issued to the team um as you can see there is some use right down here with the authentic majestic um jock tag right there it almost feels like it's just like a sticker yeah that's applied so that's how it feels you know it's got the green here Seems like with these years of the, the spring training is kind of what they got into the 2010s, more of the material that they weren't using as much in the, in the, in the 2000s. But 2010s, this is more of the material that they were using. I guess they were probably trying them out in spring training, you know. Ah, uh, and here you got your double stitched athletics going across. And that cursive that the A's like to use, all double stitch. Come up here, you got nothing over there. You can see the Batterman logo stitched in. You got that yellow right here. On the right sleeve, you don't got anything going on, just green. Left sleeve though, we come over here. Got the Majestic logo right there. And then you got that 
nice angels, or not angels, nice elephant, A's elephant that they got right there with the two bats and the sunglasses. The sun behind it. Let's see. You see the outside stitching. Let's come to the back side. And yes, I know sometimes in spring training you'll see the major leaguers will have their names on the back and like the minor league guys won't, but I've looked at the pictures, the major leaguers with the A's, they didn't have, no one had their last names on the back, so you got that. Up here you got the Batterman logo. Backside, just like the front, you got the yellow kind of on the back of the, I guess you'd say what, shoulder blade, armpit area on both sides. Got that double stitched 18. That Kendo did war along with the other two players and who really knows who else in spring training. Someone asked me, I'm just calling this, this is a Jason Kendo jersey to me. So <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. I won't necessarily, I won't guarantee you it was game used by Kendo, but to me, when I wear it, I'm wearing a Jason Kendo jersey. So that's how I look at it. That's it, you know, nothing too much um, right here. You do got that size, the tagging for the size. I have a giant spring training game used from this team. Same time period, time era. These same styles and you got that tag on the side, same thing. These jerseys were made very long. At least the game used, I don't know about the retails. Maybe the retails were made shorter, but the game used ones, the ones issued to the team were made a lot longer. And obviously I'm assuming because they're wearing it for baseball, they're tucking it into their pants. So it makes sense. Uh, let's just do a quick measurement. And then... So from measurement from the bottom of this yellow to the bottom of this yellow is 25 and a half inches. Mind you, it may not be the same with the Reeds Authentics. These are... So if you find a spring training from, you know, those mid-2000s period, um, that's game used at least, this should be the size you would get. So 25 and a half across the chest. Let's check the so back. Because this bed is smaller in my guest room, I have to go the long, I had to spread it out this way, opposed to here to here, it wouldn't fit. So from here to the bottom is 35 and a half. So very long for a 48. Once again, I can't tell you if the Reeds Authentics in these styles were the same. The game used though, just like my 46 I have with the Giants is very long. Something I'm probably gonna wear with this sweater under just cause, or I will wear with the sweater under cause it is that long. But like I said, from here, top to bottom, 35 and a half inches. Now let's throw it on. So this is the fit on me. It actually fits great this way, but pretty long. Um, don't know if you can tell in the video, but it is pretty long. So something I'll probably wear with the sweater, lift it up a little bit like that. Um, not big on alterating, on all, so I would call alterations, whatever. So probably won't go that route, especially since it is game used. But um, this sizing is why I, think if it is any of the three players who wore it during that time span, at least in the season, it would be a Kendall just because the other guys were a lot taller and bigger. So I feel like he would um, be the, the best candidate to probably worn it. Could be wrong though, never know. But like I said, if, if I'm wearing it, I don't have to say it's game use, I'm just gonna call it Jason Kendall jersey because he did wear this jersey in this style with that number. So to me, it's Jason Kendall. Anyways, though, like I said, these spring training jerseys from these mid-2000s are very long. So remember that. The 48 that you would usually get, it'll fit chest-wise well, but it's going to be long. So just keep that in mind if you buy any game used spring training jerseys from the mid-2000s. Anyways, I've been talking too much. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you like the content. If uh, you're already subscribed, thanks for being here again. I'll see you all next time. Everyone have a good day.